We're gonna talk about ghost stories now with Yukari. Check this out. <laughs> okay, as we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. This feels so pointless, but maybe it'll be important to fighting shadows. First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? There are three victims, her dying message, the ghost did it. I don't fucking know, I don't remember. I'm just gonna say her dying message. Dang Europa in this bitch. Uh, the victim isn't dead. Shit. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. The victims were all in different classes. And at first glance, they don't seem to be connected. But they okay. did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? Uh, I, th I think I do. a quiz show? Yeah, why, do you, why is she revealing the information like this? They went to our school, they ate it out a lot, they hung out together. Uh, they went to our school? <laughs> they hung out together, dummy. Right. I feel like I should've known that. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. Wait, what? So what are we what? gonna do? Field research? Are we gonna look for evidence? Yep. There's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then all the more reason we should go together. Oh, man. I don't know about this. That place is seriously bad news. Why is Junpei so scared? Up until now, all we've done is follow orders. Isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves? I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Nope. Okay. I've definitely been here before. I wasn't able to access anything over here. Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Yeah, look at you with your shitty tracksuit that you got out of the garbage talking shit. What's up? Oh man, this is even worse than I thought. You must have taken a wrong turn. This place ain't for you, buddy. We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, are you nuts? No, he's he's D. D's nuts. Ah! This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? Ah! Oh, what? Nah, bro, Makoto, you gotta step up. You gotta step up for your boy. That's enough. Uh-oh. Who is this? They didn't know oh, this guy! Into. I'll make sure they leave. This is the guy that Akihiko talked to. I remember him. Who do you think you are, dumbass? Oh, I'm Damn! Ugh, shit! Headbutted his ass. Son of a bitch! You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive now? Bro, you ain't either. Especially with Makoto here. Yeah, now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. You're from Gecko High too, aren't you? Damn it, you're gonna regret this! Oh, they just ran away. Oh man, Senpai! That was awesome! I thought Jinpei's just smiling after that. Did Aki tell you to come here? Um, yeah, sort of. Well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? Yeah. Who, who did the English dub of ghost stories? You. The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. They brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Yamagishi. Yamagishi, that's Fuka, right? Yamagishi? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from yeah. TV? Yeah. They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Yamagishi girl might be dead. Oh. I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. Uh-oh. Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering. We're probably gonna have to rescue her when we have to fight the shadow, right? Mr. Akota is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? Uh, do the teachers actually give a shit about anything that happens in the story? I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It'll be fine. It's you who can let go. Anyways, that's all I know. We done here? Yeah, totally. Thanks a lot. Come on. Show some appreciation. Man, we're totally gonna get yelled at for doing that without permission. I can already see it happening. I mean, what is Mitsuru gonna do? Or what is Akihiko? Uh, actually, Akihiko's cleaning his glove. He might beat her asses. Gonna be breathing out of 
Ah! Wait, yo, is this our uh, casual outfits? Look at this. We get Junpei with the tank top over here. The tube top? What am I trying to say? Ikari, her, her fit's kind of... I, I think I kind of like this fit instead of her old dress that she had. <laughs> Oh, look at Mitsuru's fit. She kind of clean, I gotta say. Oh, with Akihiko? I, I really like Akihiko, especially because I like red. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. Is this her? Who's this? No! Oh, no, this is just a brunette student. Hey, I remember you. What did you do to Yamagishi? Oh, was she the one talking shit about Fuka? I remember her. I remember Yukari spotted her talking shit. Hold on, Kiri Jokun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. Moriyama, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. She <laughs> sound like a police officer. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure on her right now. This seems like an interrogation. It was May 29th. May 29th? We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Uh-oh. What? You trapped her inside? That's messed up. That's not funny. That's fucked up. That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so she went back to the school by herself, but she never came back. And the next morning, she was found lying outside the front gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us wouldn't come back. I see. Damn. Mr. Okoda, all this time you've been reporting Yamagishi is absent due to illness. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. Explain yourself. Is he hiding something from us? I was thinking of the students, of course. So you chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. It... it was in her best interest. Damn, Mr. Okoda of Cotton 4K. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. Yeah, right, right. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. Bro, Mitsuru is sounding a lot more mature than the teachers. Despicable. <laughs> Despicable. So stylish. Despi no, I, I, I didn't mean. Uh, I, I was that just. You, um, you have That's enough. You can go now. We'll handle the rest. About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? A voice. A creepy voice. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it, calling their name. Oh. Bitch. Oh, Bitch. Man. This probably has to do with apathy syndrome. It's them. No doubt about it. Mm -hmm. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Mm. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room, no matter what happens. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Alright. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? Maybe. And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Well, yeah, we know that. That's what we've been training for, Yukari. But that was ten days ago! No matter how you look at it... She's gotta be. Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? It doesn't exist. Nobody knows. It doesn't exist. This is just a theory. A game theory. I just realized it's full moon. Oh my god. Is that what that the little symbol is on the top right? The yellow thing? So even though it's been 10 days for us... It could have only been 10 hours for her. Oh, it's like the hyperbolic time chamber from Dragon Ball. But wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us. It is. How could she last 10 days worth in there? And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. All right. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Let's do it. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Meanwhile, the monorail. I bet this subject would make a good 
one liner? <laughs> Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set. An explosive? No, a gun. An actual explosive? Uh, no. Jinpei, what are you doing, bro? All I did was unlock a door. <laughs> See? We got it, no problem. Man, I'm a genius. The fact that we're talking about bombs in school and we also have guns in our pockets while at school. I don't know how I feel about this. So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. Ray Ben? Is that Ray Ben? Or something? Why are they talking in different languages anyway? That's a very good question. Why do they speak in French? Can we turn on the lights? Ah, you scared? <laughs> no, I'm not. Stupé. Stupé Miocic. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. Okay. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? I'm waiting for Freddy Fazbear to appear. Oh no. I swear to god, if I get jump scared in here, I'll, I'm turning the game off. Do you hear something? Uh-oh, is Yukari scared? Uh-oh. What? There's someone else here? Shit, there actually is someone here. Uh oh. Wow. We are perfectly hidden behind this pillar. <laughs> Thing is a ghost. <laughs> Thing is a ghost? Uh, of course I don't. And besides, I'm not that afraid of. Uh, I don't know. Uh oh. <laughs> Did the security guard not hear that? You get scared so easily. That was so cute. <laughs> uh, what? That's not funny, you know. <laughs> no. No. It's so dark. I can barely read these. What are we even reading? Oh, these are keys. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Gym storage morgue. Morgue, huh? Uh, morgue. <laughs> what? Are you trying to scare me or something? <laughs> we, we do a little trolling. It's called we do a little trolling. You better watch out. What goes around comes around, buddy. Wait a minute. This is the key to the gym. Gym key. All right. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. But we're just gonna meet in the middle? Like over here? What, we're not worried about the security guard that was just over here? You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. Uh-oh. Huh? Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. Huh. <laughs> you wanna take this outside? Oh, she bad. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. Okay. I'm going in. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. Yep. Is it just uh, me and the boys? I'll be the third. Oh, wait, is Jupe just staying out? No, I want to bring Jupe with me. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? I accidentally screwed up? No, you completely fucked up. Yukari can and would beat Junpei's ass. To be fair, anyone can beat Junpei's ass. Did you see how he did in that <laughs> alleyway with the <laughs> with the shady guys? They just punched him in the gut and he immediately went down. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Let's go. What? What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Uh-oh. Uh, no, no, it's fine. I always feel like Ikari has some sort of secret beef with Mitsuru. I don't know why. We still haven't heard back from them. The transmission range is at max, too. Ooh. Uh... Why is it so awkward between these two? I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour, but we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Yeah, I guess so. No, oh, here we go. I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. That's separate. Akihiko. Come in, Akihiko. Uh-oh. Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying. Meanwhile. Uh-oh. Well, we're here. We're in a random-ass place. I must have lost consciousness. Oh, God. Are we by ourselves? I don't see Sonata or Junpei. Whoa, the kid's here. Are you awake? 
Does it look like I'm awake? This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. No, it's not. I, mean, I had to speak outside my room when I first met you. Where are the others? Why are you here? Where are the others? Don't worry. You'll see them soon. Why is this boy so creepy? We don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. More than She's one. waiting for you. Oh, I don't feel good about this. You guys will need her. I don't feel good about this, man. See you. I hope we meet again. Are you alright? It's too hard. I can't find any backup. I'm uh -oh. fine. Find us and go with the other. This is not good. I have to fight by myself. Rendezvous with the others, rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Well, I definitely want to get the advantage on these shadows if we're going to be alone. All right. Bro, this feels so lonely when we're just fighting by ourselves. Where am I? Why am I here? Please. Fuka, where are you? Who's there? Are you human? There we go. That's it. That's the voice. That's the voice. Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes. Has she survived a week in Tartarus? That's a very good question. I couldn't even survive three hours in Tartarus. Ten hours is still quite a lot for Tartarus, that is. That sounds like a YouTube cha challenge to do. I spent 24 hours in Tartarus. Yo, Mr. Beast, I got a new video idea for you. Hang on to this. Oh. Now shoot yourself in the head with it. Huh? Wait. Is this... Is this a gun? Yep. You know what to do. Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Even if you fire a gun with blanks, that's that still could kill you. <laughs> Whoa, check out the moon. It's huge. I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. I don't think this is a good sign for us, a full moon. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? It was. Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? Um, it was full. I actually don't know if it was full or not. I'm just going to say it was. Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. Hmm. We're connecting the dots the now. The assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Ooh. Uh-oh. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in. That doesn't sound good. Mitsuru? Mitsuru! Our signal's trash. We got we got that 3G, not that 5G. Oh no. Oh shit! There's two of them? There's two, two of, of them? them? Mitsuru! Takeba! Uh oh, we gotta save the girls. Akihiko, be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. Uh oh. So you're saying Akihiko's hands are ineffective? I disagree on that. I think Akihiko's hands are very effective on anyone. Oh shit, it's her. Uka. Moriyama san, please get out of here. It's not safe. I. I had to tell you. I'm sorry. Okay, that's cool and all, but this is not the situation to be apologizing. <laughs> Shit. Activate it. Activate it. Wait, did we even tell her how to activate it? She just immediately shot herself in the head. What, what is wrong with these people? Whoa. Is that like a bubble? Okay. Okay, Fuka. I can see. Can see these monsters' weaknesses. Hey, let's go. Can it be? Even better than Mitsuru. Mitsuru, let her take her place. We'll handle these guys. What is Mitsuru gonna do for us when actually she's just gonna be a party member? Fighting at the stairs this time. This is sick. Oh my god, I forgot. No, <laughs> I forgot about Jupe's outfit. I changed it last time. My boy's wearing a suit and a top hat. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Oh, uh, what are the weaknesses? Wait, I thought you said you knew the weaknesses! You chant shit, Fuka! Magician Junpei looking fire. <laughs> oh my god, how much damage does that just do? Do it! Why didn't you do it right off the bat? Do it! Not that a full analysis can only be done after everyone, both allies and enemies, has ended their turn in the first round. Oh, okay. Full analysis. Oh, so it uses up SP. I didn't know I had this kind of power. 
Bro, she OP. Okay, what about this one then? Boom. Zeo, okay. It's weak to... Pierce? I think that's Pierce, right? I don't have Pierce on anything. That's not good. No, nothing else. We're oh, shit. We're fucked. We're actually fucked. That's all. Bosses change weaknesses every three turns. Oh, okay. That's good. Man, Zeo does nothing. What the fuck? He resists Slash, but it does something, so... Actually, you know what? I'll just guard. Just guard. Uh-oh. Enemies' affinities have changed. Oh, shit. Okay. Give me something good. Give me something good. Okay. We can do punch. Actually, let me do bash first. Wait, no, no, not bash. Assault dive. Don't miss. Good work. And then we switch over to... Where is it? Let's do that. Dio does nothing because that's a physical base persona. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm not really good when it comes to making personas, but I'll get better at it. Whoa, what's with the lag spot? Assault dive on this one. I guess this is a battle where we want to be shifting a lot. So I'm going to shift back to... Koto. And then we're going to do some Bufu on this guy. Shit, this might be really easy, like you guys said. No! God damn it. We needed that. Attack up. Zan A. What is that? Ooh, okay. I feel like that would have been a really strong move. Why does Jupe's top hat look good on him? I think it makes him look kind of goofy, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. He dead. Man, I'm dead. Gets you, eh? Uh-oh. Shit! Well, I'm glad that wasn't Makoto, because we just killed this guy now. <laughs> Sorry about that, Akihiko. Oh, wait, that means Akihiko will get any XP. Oh, no. Are there more of them? Don't worry. It's over. Yep. That's pretty easy. You... Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Uh-oh. Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the Shadows. Is that a bad thing? It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. Okay. But does it really matter? But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Look, there's nothing we can do about that, all right? Bullies are gonna stay bullies. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. It looks Aww. like she's learned her lesson. Yeah, well, yeah, for right now. You said she was gonna forget later on, so... Not like it matters. It wasn't easy, but we managed to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Wait, it wasn't easy? Bro, that was the easiest boss fight ever. What are you talking about? Three days later. So, you're Fuka Yamagishi-kun, right? Oh, here we go. Initiation test. Will she shoot herself in the head, boys? I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job uncovering the truth. Yeah, and you did nothing. Where the fuck was he? Chuchi was busy pissing off the coffins. <laughs> oh, God. You have, like, piss covered all over you and, like, sticky notes with dad jokes written on them. <laughs> it's all my fault. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. Yeah, she didn't do anything wrong. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. That wasn't under your control, though. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. Mm -hmm. Right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? Are you asking me to join you? Yes. We need a better navigator because Mitsuru kind of dog shit now. Only if you want to, we won't force you to. We won't force you to. But you're going to be part of the team anyways. You know we're not trying to pressure you. So if you need some time to think about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel like this whole meeting was just us pressuring her. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. I think she's fine with that. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Oh, something wrong with the household? Wait, were her parents concerned about her at all? Because if they weren't, then maybe she is better off living in the dorms instead. Wait a minute. 
Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Y'all dragged me into this, like, day one, as soon as I got here, so I, th I think she'll be fine. Hey, look! It's the ghost girl! Ghost girl. Quiet! She can hear you! You guys are not being subtle at all. Oh, Luca, you're here. Hey! Moriyama-san? I heard you started living in the dorms. Uh-huh. Is she gonna live in the dorms, too? I don't know if I feel good about her. Yes. Well, if you got something on your mind, you can always talk to me. Ooh. You could probably use a friend, huh? So they besties now. Okay. She switched up real quick. <laughs> oh shit, dark hour. You've prevailed yet again. Yes, I have. Do you remember what I said before? About what did you say? everything coming to an end? Uh-oh. Well, I recalled something else. I'm pretty sure the end is unavoidable. Unavoidable? Are we, like, fated to die or but some shit? It's kind of weird. It doesn't feel that inevitable right now, considering the vast potential inside you. Can we fight fate? Plus, it seems like your powers change quite a bit. Hey, if you don't mind, can I be your friend? I, I guess we are friends, because I'm kind of forced into this friendship. Oh, I see. I need a name. Oh. My name, name is... Pharos. Pharos. Okay. I know we'll get along great. I can feel the beginnings of a bond with the mysterious boy Fair. Oh, no. This is a social link? I'm assuming this is, like, an automatic social link, like with Teddy's. The kid more reminds me of Makoto himself. Like a younger version of him. Rank death. Oh, yeah, I don't feel too good about this. I feel like something's gonna happen to Makoto. Are you in there? She has a nice room. Bunch of flowers. Yes, come in. I think we should start heading to the command room and... Huh? You already finished unpacking? I was planning on helping you out later, too. Damn. Well, I didn't have too much with me, so... I finished a lot sooner than I expected. Oh, are you good with computers by any chance? She's literally using one right now, so I'd assume so. You think you could teach me? I'm really not good with stuff like that. Hmm. Sure, if you'd like me to. It's funny how she says that, because I think you can spot her using the computer in the living room. You're a really hard worker, Yamagishi-san. And you've got an amazing ability, too. It's cool that Yukari actually that cares I about Fuka. About it, Everyone in this dorm is pretty amazing, huh? Sabrina yeah. Senpai is hands down one of the strongest. And our leader has a power unlike anyone else's. <laughs> our leader. Cue the communism thing. What do you think Fuka's laptop specs are? Well, it is 2009, so it's probably not that great. <laughs> RTX 4080. <laughs> you think a 4080 fits in there? Aren't the 40 cards, like, really big? But what do I have? I'm only half the person everyone else here is. Aww. I couldn't even do anything the last full moon. I would be nice to her, but she didn't really do that much during the boss fight. That's not true at all. I was told that a persona is the power of the soul, also known as your other self. That's why I think a person's personality and feelings are reflected in their persona. For example, Takeba-san, your persona has healing powers, right? They're not great healing powers, at least not right now, but they're healing powers. <laughs> That's because there's a kindness in you that no one else has, Stupe. Sorry for calling you all again so soon, but I brought something special today. It's a bomb! Watch it! <laughs> I'd like to provide you with some new equipment. New equipment? What is this? After spending quite some time in development, we're now ready for the battle testing phase. What is this shit? The shadows are getting stronger. You just barely won the last battle. Barely won the last battle? Stop the cap. <laughs> Your new trump card in the battle against the shadows. Cartridges that enable the use of theurgy. Theurgy means spiritual magic that could reach the gods in Greek. Okay. To put it simply, it synchronizes with the user's emotions. And when the right conditions are met, allows them to unleash an attack of immense power. I'm assuming we're going to be using that in battle. Oh, you're talking about signature attacks. Ah. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for something like this. I think it might be easier if you just try it out for yourselves. Okay. Let's go. 
You have to test out this shit. Uh oh. New shots. Oh, this is animated. Okay. Damn, we look sick. Got epic music playing as well. New drip. Oh! Got lotus juice in the background? Okay. I just feel like the game has actually finally begun. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome! We're like a super elite task force! Yeah, we actually look like a, a team now. Each one is made to complement our physiques and fighting styles. And we're testing the prototype out on me. But it feels even better than it did before. Wait, so why are you wearing like a suit jacket and pants when you're a boxer? <laughs> Seems like this armband isn't just for decoration either. What does it do? According to the manual, there are a bunch of different features built into it. For example, it can give you a readout of your vitals. Hmm, what else? It can also track you wherever you go, like a GPS ship. And then Shuji can watch you piss and sleep and masturbate. There's also a function that notifies you when you can use your theurgy? All I can tell is that you load the cartridge into your evoker to use it. Ah. Then let's make that our objective for today. Make sure to stay alert, everyone. This time, I'll be joining the rest of you in battle. I'm going too. I gotta make sure my skills are still- No, you're not. I'm dropping one of you from the squad. Me too! No. <laughs> not everyone right. can go. Then including our leader, that will be our team. Wait, I wanna go too? I'm gonna bring Junpei, don't worry, so bro. ready for this! You can't just put me on standby! Y'all better not leave we Junpei can't behind. Without our leader. You stay here and support Yamagishi. No, are you kidding me? Only you can do it, Junpei. You're our last line of defense. Gotta keep our ace in reserve. Gotta keep our ace in reserve. Yeah. Good way to say it. Oh, really? There we go. We cheered him up. Uh-oh. Yukari-chan, look out! Uh-oh. Huh? She's being attacked? Oh, no. Shit. That's not good. Oh, we found her pretty quickly. Leader, you're here! I am. Okay. We're just working together with Yukari? Fuck, she's literally the weak link of the squad. <laughs> what? What? <gasps> what the fuck was I supposed to do about that? Bro! Everyone's always protecting me. I'm getting hurt because of it. Yeah, can you do something about it? Oh no. What am I even doing? Yukari chan! Fuka, Come on, Yukari. I need you to back me up. I'll hold this thing off until everyone else gets here. Take this. Okay, Yukari. Hit with crits. Okay, you knocked it down. Media. Oh, that's smart. Wait, no, you should have just used the uh, oh, whatever. Wait, is this Yukari chan? Load the cartridge into your evoker. Oh, I know. Now's the time. Does she know how to activate it? Cool scene incoming. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this felt like a scripted battle, so it's probably just all tutorial stuff. Thurgy activation. When emotions run high in battle, you or your party members will be able to activate Thurgy. Wait, emotions run high? What? Thurgy can be activated on your turn when your Thurgy gaze is at max. Unlike normal skills, they do not cost HP or SP. Press right trigger to activate your Thurgy. Please note that it cannot be used while you're afflicted with a status ailment. Oh, well, that's just great. Cyclone arrow. Deal severe wind damage to one foe, ignoring resistances. Oh. Cool. Damn! This is kind of sick. One more shot. Hard looking like Athena. Damn. I'm sorry. It was all my fault. Uh, wait, what was that just now? I don't really know. My body just sort of took control. She just lost it. Takeba, later. Looks like you both are okay. I'm sorry, really hurt. I worried everyone. Oh, wait, she healed me though. It's all right. You did well in handling an unexpected situation. <sighs> Maybe we should consider starting over. Let's head back to the entrance for now. Twelve seconds later. Good work out there, team! I'm sorry. I should have been able to navigate better. Well, I can't say she did great for her first time, because she literally did nothing. I'm convinced that you're the one we need on support. Yep. Yeah, thanks a lot, Fuka. I didn't do anything. 
It was all you, Yukari-chan. And me. That special attack sure was cool, whatever. though, Yukatan. How'd you do it? I just focused really hard and thought to myself, I have to do whatever it takes. So when your back is against the wall, and that's when you activate it. And while I was thinking it. that, I kind of felt something surging inside me. The chairman did say the cartridge would synchronize with our emotions. Hmm. Right. Although, I'm still not entirely sure how it works. From what I could tell, it reacted to Yukari-chan's strong emotions. So this weapon gives the user strength beyond their limits when their emotions are heightened? Looks like it. Uh, I don't really get it. Yeah, Junpei should have been with us so that he can actually test it out, but y'all wanted to wanted leave, leave him behind. behind. It's all thanks to Yukari. I'm dying to try it for myself. I am dying to try it for myself. Me too! Me too! Actually, <laughs> and Junpei. I'm pretty fired up right now. Maybe I can already cook one up. <laughs> Who are you going to attack with it? Mitsuru? <laughs> I'd like to give it a go myself, but we should call it a day for now. We can't overwork our leader, and we've got some time until the next full moon. Can't overwork our leader, bro. I, I'm used to this shit. In any case, we may have had some problems, but we learned a lot today. Not only did we get to test our new lineup and equipment, but we also got to see that we're all improving at a remarkable pace. Yep. Aw, Kirijo senpai Quit buttering me up. <laughs> Just leave everything to Junpei Iori, the soon-to-be MVP. Do we got any MVP votes in chat? For Junpei? No. Maybe I shouldn't be the one to say this, but you literally didn't do anything. Today. I know, right? <laughs> he literally has done nothing, but he's he's like gassing himself up. All right, I'm gonna pay attention. My eyes are peeled. Stay where you are. Huh? Wait, is that it? Really? That one little jiggle? That's what you're talking about? My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. 